multiples of 10. Let us look at these numbers. What do you think they have in common? One thing that all these numbers share is that they all end with the digit zero. In a place value chart, the digit in the ones place in all these numbers is zero. Also, if we think of base 10 blocks representation for these numbers, we will find that we will only need just rods to represent any of these. Remember that we have zero in the ones place for all of these numbers. So we don't need any individual units. For the number 10, we will need one rod. While for the number 20, we will need two rods. So we can think of 20 as two tens or two multiplied by 10. For 30, we will need three rods. Because we have three tens, which is the same as three times 10. And so on. All of these numbers are called multiples of 10 because any of them can be seen as a result of multiplying a number by 10. In this lesson, you learned about multiples of 10.